the governor said he's also in favor of postponing the primary election coming up in May, but a decision has not been made just yet. Well, for many high school seniors, the news of this school closure extension is heartbreaking. I mean, this means no prom, no sports, and possibly no graduation ceremony. Our Steve Jefferson talked with tw twin brothers today about how they're dealing with missing their senior year. The government's announcement here at the State House hit school districts and seniors throughout the state, especially those high school students weeks away from graduation. It hit me really hard. I'm a senior upper buff. High school senior Julian Neely watched as Indiana Governor Eric Holcomb made an announcement that forever changed his education experience. All of my senior activities um, are probably going to be canceled, which include prom, senior assassins. Um, my senior spring break got canceled, too. All schools to be closed until May 1st. As we get nearer to May 1st, we may have to close permanently. Julian is already completing his classwork under e-learning. Even after watching more people test positive for COVID-19, a possible permanent shutdown for schools is not what Julian nor his twin brother Blake expected. After like when I heard like people like a lot of a lot of people losing jobs, I knew that uh, our school was going to get delayed. I didn't think till May first. I think I'll be able to get through it, even though e-learning is going to be really boring, and I won't be able to see my friends that often. The graduation ceremony was like really big. Especially for me and our family and my family, uh, that's like it's the coming of age of me becoming an adult. Even without a graduation ceremony, like so many seniors, Julian and Blake are looking forward to college. Steve Jefferson, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. And late today, we're seeing two counties wanting to close more, uh, force more closures to keep everybody safe. Madison County wants to close stores that don't sell food, also close car dealerships and hair and nail salons. In Delaware County, they also want to close salons, gyms, and private clubs to the public, all of it to help slow the spread of coronavirus.